What's going on everybody? Kalipas Tech here, coming back at you with another video. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to take a screenshot with the Samsung Galaxy A03s. Taking a screenshot is a real easy thing to do, but if you're new to Android or smartphones in general, it might be a little tricky because not every phone has the same way to do it. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it with this phone. So all you got to do is press the power key and the volume down key at the same time. You don't actually need to hold the buttons. Just lightly click them once like this. The screen just flashed and as you can see this little bar showed up. It doesn't stay up here for that long so it's pretty easy to miss. And if you do miss it and still want to edit it, all you need to do is pull down your notification center and it's going to be right here. There are some phones, in fact a lot of them out there, where you do actually have to hold down these buttons to take a screenshot. But with this phone, once again, you really don't. So one more time, press the power key and the volume down key at the same time just like this. Now take care not to press the power key and the volume up key instead, because that's not going to do anything. So now that we've gone over exactly how to take a screenshot, I'm going to show you some different settings you can change related to screenshots. So we're going to go to settings, go down to advanced features, and go to screenshots. So as you can see here, we have a few different options. If you don't want that little bar to show up after you take a screenshot, you're going to want to toggle this off. And now if I take a screenshot, the screen is still going to flash, but that bar isn't going to show up. The other thing you can do that I think is really cool is hide the status and navigation bars. So now if I go back to the home screen and take a screenshot and go back to the gallery, as you can see here, the screenshot captured everything like normal except for the status bar and the navigation bar. Now another thing you can do is delete shared screenshots. So if you like to use that share button on the toolbar, that's where this is going to come in handy because then every time you share a screenshot, it's going to automatically delete it so you don't clutter up your gallery with a bunch of screenshots. And the last thing you can do is change the screenshot file format from a JPG to a PNG. Now this could be useful in some situations, but in most cases, it's one of those features that I wouldn't really touch. Either way, it's probably a good thing to know about. But that was my tutorial on how to take a screenshot with the Samsung Galaxy A03s. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you found this tutorial useful as well. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next video.